hello everybody i'm going to do a video that goes over like i said in my previous video i'm talking about the open range break with the three four different trade types the immediate break the mid band the second attempt to cross over slash late break and i'm going to do it uh and, and and if you haven't seen that video it's linked down below it's detailed discussion of what i'm looking for when i trade the open range break for both for gold oil nq and rty and i'm going to look at them in that order because that's the order by which i trade them since the box for the open range break is created based off the opening time oil uh, gold opens at 8 20 in the morning oil opens at nine the regular equity markets at 9.30. These are all Eastern Standard Time. I talk in Eastern Standard Time throughout these videos. So anyways, um, I'm going to uh, start with gold, okay? And I'm gonna do, and as I said in my last video, I was gonna show the tra trades for the week, okay? So <clears throat> there's, today is Wednesday, March 6th. So I'm gonna do March 4th, 5th, and 6th of all four instruments as fast as I can. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, boy. All right. So anyways, so the first one again, as I said, was gold. So here we are with gold. Gold had a very lackluster start to the day. This is all the price action that gold had. Okay. <sighs> Which ironically is what you want. You want that compression because then you can get potentially this, which is that explosion out of the compression, you know, but anyways, so let's talk about the trading rules and, you know, what trades we took and which ones we didn't in gold. So here's our box. Our box was created from 820 to the 836 minute. That's when that's when so so from 83601 in seconds on the box is no longer being formed. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, so so what we're looking for is an immediate break out the top if if there's gonna happen or one out the bottom, whatever, as the rules were here, but we didn't get one. So a minute or two goes by, price goes on. I'm treating this as if it's a fake break with a roll down, creating space and then go back up. Instead, it blows right out of the box. This red box here is a measuring stick based on the size of this, this box for today's price action. And now it cancels any more long trades for the day. You know, once this is created, then it's no longer looking for long trades. Uh, because now it's 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 like okay this is no the integrity of the box to the upside is no longer there is the thought process okay so this thing blew right out well I didn't blow right out of the box came out of the box sat and see these candles they were forming their way down I was anticipating it to come back inside the box I'll show you some perfect examples of that here in a minute and then rotate and then go back and then phew, be gone okay but instead it didn't. And uh, so our targets on these, uh, my targets, the way I have these things set, it's 60 ticks in oil. So that's $600 with a 10 tick stop. I'm looking for about 15 ticks of profit before I allow it go break even. Okay. It's kind of how my settings are <clears throat> for gold. All right. So what happened? We got no trades that day. And boy, the thing took off, as you can see. Holy cow. Anyway, so miss some you lose some you know whatever so again my entries are looking for conservative you'll see what i mean here in a minute so anyway so <clears throat> so then we had a second box which is for tuesday and tuesday at 8 30 we had news how do we and when you're looking at oil when you're looking at gold and there's news wow gold can really <clears throat> really become difficult because it's thinly traded and it can get really heavily manipulated during news events, especially like unemployment, inflation data. Mm, those two things, boy, whoo-wee. 
you know, because, you know, the government keeps printing fake money, which makes gold even more valuable. <laughs> so anyways, so um, the box is created, very large box. So all our measurements have changed now <clears throat> based off the fact that this box is a lot bigger than the previous box. OK, so anyways, when it first came right up, we were looking for it to blow right out of the box. Didn't happen. Rolled right back in. Now, here's what we had. We had a high because this, this candle right here created the high. We had a lower high, lower high, lower high. Boy, that was a perfect opportunity for a mid band trade. If we would have gotten, if we would have just gotten, you know, this candle to go that way, boom, bam, out of the box. Well, you know, we could have had, could have been to the moon, Alice. <clears throat> but anyways, that's not what happened. It kept right on going. So what happened instead? Well, we got that fake break that I talk about. Fake break that didn't happen the day before. And then it rotated up, came back down, boom. So we're looking because we have a gap now. So we're looking for the second attempt. See, this is L1, low one, low first attempt, low second attempt. Here you go, boom, bam, got in. We got our 15 plus ticks, came back up, knocked us out at even. So we didn't make any money there. Now, oil hadn't started yet. So just observation thing here, you know, because oil doesn't, oil the box doesn't finish until 8, 15, 8, 8 16. I mean, 9, 16, anyways, on, on the ninja chart of 9, 16. So anyways. So right here, we didn't have that. So what I saw was this thing came up, boy, that big, huge hammer candle. I knew that was the rotation back the other way. That was the rotation back the other way. But anyway, so let's go look at Wednesday. Yeah, because we've already done Monday. And here's Wednesday. So here's, here's where the fake break pays dividends. <clears throat> so... We blow out of the box. Again, we get past our, this is a much smaller box, by the way. So I, I like that because there's, there's more consolidation, more compression in there. I really do like it when there's not, it's not so much gap to it. But anyway, so it rolls out of the box and then look at that. And hammer, 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 squeezing those stops, knocking out the amateurs who chased it out of the box. Oh, by the way, notice came out of the box, came back in the box, came back out, but we didn't take that second attempt. See that? Why did we not do that? Well, here's the secret. Why we didn't take this trade after this one failed? Why didn't we take this one? Well, because we hadn't seen them squeeze the stops yet. Here's where they were squeezing the stops out of the amateur traders. Then they rolled it up, bam, bam, 600 bucks right there. $600, boom, gone. All right, so what did gold do in three days? We'll look at it right here real quick. Gold did one win, one break even, $600. Let me write that one down, $600, okay? So next I wanna talk about is my next chart, which is oil. So oil, because remember oil is the next one because these are all time-based trading strategies. So the oil is the next one. It opens at nine. Box finishes is at 916, which is nine, 915.59. All right, so the box is closed. And then what do we get? Well, we get, again, a fake break out the top. <clears throat> okay, by the way, we have the damn... Overnight open, sitting in the middle of the box again, which I don't like that. But it is what it is. So we get a rotation down to the bottom. We rotate back up to the mid band. Okay, but we didn't create a gap here, which this would have been a nice mid band trade, but it just, it didn't set a gap here to do that. Okay. And then we roll back over and we had an L1 entry. Now, why did it take the L1? Well, let's go back and look at our trades. We have the late break trade. Well, what's the late break trade? Or you also have the crossover trade. It meets both rules. Crossover means it blew out the box one side and failed, came back and rolled through the other side. That's, that's a crossover. 
or a late break, you get past your 30 minute time frame here from when your box was closed and you've never broken out of that side of the box, boom, there it goes, down you go, 390 bucks. Okay, so that's yesterday. And then today, I think it lost money today. Not much, I think. Maybe I'm getting confused. I'm very easily confused. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, so here's, 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 I'm going to talk about what I did. This is actually, this is actually Monday. I mean, this is actually Tuesday, the 5th. So this is what I did. Okay. I traded this a little different than the system. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So I have a setting that we can't take trades against the overnight open unless now for oil, it's different. Every instrument is different, but for oil, I want to be, I want to be 20 ticks or more away from the entry point. That gives me room to manage it. 20 ticks in NQ would be like nothing. So the, each one of them has their own settings, but let's just talk about oil here for a second. So, you know, so if, as long as we're 20 ticks or more, well, this one is 29 ticks, 30 ticks, technically. 30 ticks to the to the overnight open. All right. So when this thing rolled back down and rolled back up, I personally took the exact same entry. I let I let the system take my entry. And then what I did is I put my target right here at 7873, which is one tick in front of the overnight open, because I like, you know, we're running up to there. You know, let's go back and look to the left. We haven't been here since uh, six in the morning. You know, bam, bam, rolled over, rolled over. And that was it. Got pretty vicious, didn't it? Now, there, there, there's some interesting things I'm going to show you here. Okay. So <clears throat> I took this trade from here to here. 290 bucks. The system only follows the pivots, the way it's settings, you know, whatever, because it's it's looking for 60 ticks. So it made 100 bucks. Okay. So let's look at this false break down through the bottom of the box. If you extended this box, okay, if you extended this box, look what happened when it came back across the box again. Just look at that. Boom. Boom. It went over a dollar. <laughs> it went over a dollar, which would have been attempt one, attempt two, and attempt three at the overnight open. I always talk about threes. One, two, three. There's your three. There's your one. Roll down, rolled up. There's your two. Roll down, rolled up. There's your three. And your overnight open just got zinged right out of there. Went for a dollar. Anyways, that's if your box is extended out further, there was potential for, for, for there was a potential for a crossover out the top again there. But anyways, but we're, I'm only running this thing out 60 minutes right now. Okay. For this, for this discussion. Then we got today, <clears throat> then we got today, which today was oil inventory day. So I took the initial break out of the top of the box. I did not take the second attempt that, that the system does. The system doesn't know the difference between oil inventory day and non-oil inventory day. You do, I do, but it doesn't, okay? Because oil inventory day changes, so you can't even code it in there. It's, some days it's Wednesday, some days it's Thursday, it depends on holidays, it depends time blah, blah 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 but anyways so i took this initial one back up here boom i got knocked out right here i kept my stop below the entry candle i got knocked out for like 50 bucks or something like that the system took a hundred hundred dollar loss because it looks for 10 ticks 10 tick stop 60 tick target 15 ticks before it goes to break even boom here it did when it then then it got its gap so you had your big pullback and then you had your run up and then bam, there's your, there's your break even. I want to show you something real quickly. I forgot to show in the last chart because I really, this is important. This is why I'm talking about these gaps because it just showed the gap there too, but it wasn't as, wasn't as clean. This, well, it was as clean, but this is just clearer to look at. This is what I'm talking about by the fake break. And when, when does the system need to look? for it now to be over and run. It's when they're taking the money back. They know the amateurs are leaning for the longs. 
okay? So they let the amateurs get in, then they take them back down here and they squeeze all their money out of them until they no longer can stay in the trades anymore. And then wham. And that's what the second attempt is looking for. Let's look at, see how, look at, look at, see, you can't have big candles that are all the way to the high of the day and then all the way down here if they're hammering you down like a freaking jackhammer. Okay, that's what this is. That's a hammer down like a jackhammer. They're just jackhammering out all those stops. And as soon as they feel like they've got enough of them, woof, wham, off they go. How many times you guys get ticked out of a trade and then the damn thing takes off? That's what this is. That's why my, my screen shows right here this shark. The shark's there because I'm looking to go with the sharks. I'm not looking to get eaten by the sharks. I leave that shark on my screens to remind me of this, okay? I'm looking to trade with, I can't move the market, okay? But I can look for areas where they're gonna move the market and I can jump along for the ride, all right? Without having to chase trades in, in, in La La Land. So let's talk about gold here for a second, three days, Let's see here, three days, it had uh, $388, so $388. So my two favorite instruments for this strategy, because of the way they move, uh, had $988 off one contract, one contract, three days, okay? One contract, just one contract, three days. This had two wins, one loss, one break even. All right, so now let's go to let's go to NQ because this is the next one I look at. I'm going to try to get this thing moving along here. So we got NQ. Let's go all the way back to day right here, Monday. Okay, Monday. All right, so what happened on Monday? Well, on Monday, NQ decided it didn't want to cooperate. Two things to notice first off. Box is, box is kind of large, but NQ has a tendency to have large boxes <clears throat> because it is, uh, it is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy instrument to trade. And if you don't have faint, if you have, if you're faint of heart, I wouldn't trade it. But anyways, so, I mean, are you going to tell me you'd be upset with one contract trading, you know, oil and gold making $988 in three days off one contract? I doubt it. But if you want to step into the arena and you want to get, you know, coined around, here you go. So here you are with the NQ. By the way, this is the most profitable instrument on this strategy, back testing and all. Okay. So I kind of make sarcasm about it, but this is the most profitable interest in instrument because of the way it moves and, the, and, the, and the, the depth it can move when it does move. But anyway, so on Monday... It had a fake breakdown because we talked about the fake breaks and it had a rotation up. Let me get rid of this damn thing. Uh, I do a lot of measuring of things. But anyways, it had a rotation up. So it, it met based on the size of this box. It met whatever I'm looking for as a rotation for a second attempt. Okay. That's why this one's called an L1 and this one's called an L2. Well, the L2 went down, boom, came back up. Bam, lost 230 bucks before I can even blink. Well, that's the NQ, okay? Before you can even blink, 230 bucks, gone. So that's Monday. Now, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> now, funny part about Monday is Tuesday did the same thing as Monday, except it worked. <laughs> so what does that mean? Fake breakdown, rotate up, created that space. L2, there's your L2, boom, bam, target 2,000. That's not a typo. That's not a typo. The targets set on this are 40, 40 tick stops, 40, 400 tick targets. It's not, these, these, that's not a typo. Okay, and you can see your these white dots here are the stops chasing the stop, you know, for the trailing stops, chasing, chasing price. Okay. Just in case it rotates back up. Anyways, boom, 
there you go, 2,000 bucks. That's not a typo. And by the way, it does that similar situation like once a week. Remember, I, I've had people message me, how did you pass? You know, how did you get $3,600 in five days on your evals when the market's been shit, Bob? That's, I had people ask me that when I passed my evals in five days, but I had my little problem with Apex about getting my PAs. And I, and I, and I, this is it right here. I had one trade, had, had a fake breakdown. For example, with the NQ fake breakdown, rotation up, came out the other side of the box. Boom, I was long. And I mean, that thing never slowed down. And for like four minutes, no news, no news. Four minutes, that thing went straight up, hit me for 1200 bucks. One contract. I mean, a couple of those, a couple golds for $600. Gold has been on fire lately. I mean, it hasn't really done, I mean, it did okay today, but gold has been on fire lately because the government just keeps printing trillions of dollars. If any of you aren't paying attention, the United States is totally insolvent, but that's a different story. Not to be talked about right now, I guess, unless you're really worried about your future. But anyways, so um, yeah, we, we print, our government is now printing a uh, trillion dollars in debt every 95 days. It's been doing it for the last two 90 day sequences. It's good stuff. So why do you think gold keeps going up? <laughs> why do you think Bitcoin keeps going up? Why do you think the stock market keeps going up? Because there's so much flush cash out there to keep the government going that nobody has any place to put their money but in the market. But you're doing it with money that's worth half the value it was five years ago. So when you tell me the market's at a high, I go, yeah, it is, but it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so here you go. Let's go to the next one. That was Tuesday, so let's go to Wednesday. Let's go to Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, and Wednesday, the darn thing came right out of the box, but it really didn't, okay? Came right out of the box towards the overnight open. There's plenty of space there for a trade, but this was an L1, and it rotated up pretty pretty sizable really for the size of this box i was expecting it to rotate up like this create that gap i'm looking for you know squeeze 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 these people then rotate down bam and take it down to here <clears throat> but didn't happen so i didn't take the trade now for those of you who follow my trading strategy you should have been uh, you should have been jumping all over this like like a freaking hammer a hammer to a nail with that overnight open right there that overnight open right there's pure, pure gold, pure gold. That trade right there, the way it reached, I mean, everything about that was classic, 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 classic. Boom, there it goes. So by the way, uh, I was on the phone with the coder because I was base, I was done trading at this point. So I was on the phone with the coder and I said to him, when this candle right here formed, I was watching this, when this candle formed, I told him the, if this candle, the next candle to the right, breaks the top of this candle because it rotated up. Then all these people would have put their stops at break even. It came down and cleaned them out. Cleaned them out. Because they're being too conservative on that, on this, on this, on this trade. If this broke, that was gone. And I said to him, it'll probably go, it'll go minimum to the box and probably through the other side. So for you swing traders, you people that have listened to me talk about the overnight open. There you go. Okay. I mean, hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's talk about that for just a second. It went to the box, inside the box, meandered around in the box, and then out the other side. By the way, the breakout the other side was good for several hundred dollars if you extended this, if you extended these lines. Several hundred dollars. Right there right out the other side of this box. I mean, I just have them running for an hour. Now, now this big red, this red box right here means it's not looking for shorts anymore. Doesn't mean it can't rotate across the box and go out the other side, which is exactly what it did. So anyways, last thing I want to talk. Oh, so let's just look at the total, see what it did. Uh, this wild beast. All right, this wild beast had, oh yeah, because it didn't take any trades yesterday on Tuesday. So it had one win, 
which was oh, which was Tuesday. Sorry, I didn't take any trades today. Wednesday had one win, which is Tuesday. Had one loss, which was Monday, and it made seventeen hundred and seventy dollars. Seventeen seventy. So we're up to twenty seven fifty eight for three days, just off the strategy. All right. So let's go to the last one, which is RTY. And I don't think I have anything to show on RTY. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think, I don't know that it, I think it only took one trade. I think it only took one trade. Let's just quickly look at the results. Uh, yeah, took one trade, made $5. <laughs> took one trade, made $5. I, I'll show you that trade. That was today. Uh, now that's, that's not normal. I mean, the RTY has had some banger trades on this in the last 30 days. So, you know, need to be disheartened, but it only took one trade. So let's just talk about that one trade. Same thing. You had a false break. It didn't create a gap here. Rotate it up, created a gap that we're looking for based on the size of this box. And then it rotated down. Went to break even, got knocked out when it rotated up. Uh, did it go through the top of the box? Let's just see if it went to the top. I don't know. Uh, waiting for it, waiting for it. Did it ever go through the top of the box? Here's the top of the box, by the way. Remember, NQ went through the top of the box. <clears throat> nope. Never went through the top of the box. Okay. I was just seeing if it resulted, if it, if it had a positive result from that or not. Um, anyways, so that's the first three days results. Uh, um, what did I say? RTY made five bucks or whatever. So, so 23, 2750. Of course, the big one was the, was the big one was RTY, but I mean, gold and oil held their own. And if you traded the oil, like I did to the overnight open, you would have had an extra $200 there, which is a prudent trade instead of letting the overnight open battle back to you. So, you know, really 980 bucks plus another 200, that's $1,188 just off those two instruments with like, I don't know, one with one contract and probably about five, six trades, maybe five or six in three days. So anyways, it does help your stress level. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to put the link again down below of, of how to download the open range indicator that a, that a customer made for me uh, and upload it into Ninja's platform uh, like a year ago or something like that. But anyways, it doesn't have the trading strategy because it's that's all coded stuff that's far more complicated than the box. But it'll help you create the box, help you see the lines and all that kind of stuff so that you can try, you know, looking at this stuff yourself and taking some copious notes and whatnot. I had a customer message me today who, who actually watched my video yesterday, sat there and watched gold. And then he emailed me and went, holy shit, it did exactly what you said. I said, yeah, it did, didn't it? it did the fake break, came back down, rotated up, boom, gone, $600. He was like, this is amazing. <laughs> I said, I know. The good part is I released the video before that happened. So people won't think I made this stuff up. Anyways, everybody have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.